What are we doing? Oh, we're doing the space 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 I don't have the correct thing up. Yes, space. We talked about NASA uh, jumping on board with uh, looking for UFOs last week, which again, uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of time on, but just wanted to make the point that 10 years ago, if we would have said NASA is officially looking for UFOs, you would have said you're insane. But here we yep. are. Uh, it's a side note. <laughs> Nobody cares that right. NASA is officially looking for UFOs. Uh, but all in those lines, this is cron.com. And the headline here, NASA to reveal hell-like planet that rains Ooh. lava at night. Yes, daughter. Lovely daughter. Oh, that's very Lovely. cute. Oh, we're talking about the hell planet, yeah, daughter. Uh, very cute. Yes, I'm talking about the raining fire hell planet. Could you step aside <laughs> over there as I uh, yell? NASA will soon unveil an enhanced look, an enhanced look, Basil, like plastic surgery. Oh, good. At two exoplanets that closely resemble the Earth, although you might want to hold off on packing your bags. Yeah. One of the first orders of business for NASA's renowned James Webb Telescope is taking a closer look at 55 Cancer E, a super hot planet. <laughs> Sounds like a really bad hype, man. It's a super, super hot, hot planet. That orbits closer to its central star than Mercury does the sun. This wow. means the planet is likely covered in flowing magma, according to NASA scientists. They also believe that the potential existence of a weak atmosphere on the planet means it could rain lava at night. Lava. The planet takes a mere 18 hours to orbit its central star. When planets orbit stars so closely, they usually orbit in a manner called tidally locked where they, uh, where the same side of the planet faces the star at all times. Oh, like the moon? Uh, but scientists believe this planet might rotate on its own. Oh. Meaning the heat generated by its proximity to the star is spread through its globe. Experts will uh, also hopefully determine whether the planet contains nitrogen or oxygen. Uh, scientists also plan to observe another planet called LHS 3844b. That is much cooler than its lakes of lava counterpart. This one appears to be solid rock and contains no atmosphere. The telescope won't be able to photograph the surface of the planet, but scientists will use other instruments to measure infrared signals and other data points to try and determine the geological makeup of the planet. Finding from, uh, findings from both will help give the science community a better understanding of the origins of our own Earth. Quote, they will give us fantastic new perspectives on Earth-like plant planets in general, said Laura Kreidberg of the Germany's Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in a NASA release. That's interesting. Just, uh, you know, NASA being a outwork of Project Paperclip, which was, you know, taking German scientists and bringing them over to America. It's almost like they're kind of revealing themselves here. They're like, yeah, German Germany's. Max Planck Institute astronomer. As it's a got some NASA's interesting release. sort of Enochian right. uh, ideas to it, or yeah. themes, I guess. You know, you talk about the the angels being locked away in the mm. stars, star prisons, mm. and you know the hell realms in the in the far away yada yada yada. Right. You know, yeah, hell they, planet sounds sounds hell planet and rock sounds planet. Ha Hot rock planet, yeah. The James Webb Telescope is part of the International Space Program that will explore our our uh, or our solar system and beyond for the most of twenty twenty for the most of twenty twenty two. Soon after it was launched into space, scientists have been calibrating and fine tuning its instruments, but now it's fully ready for its exploration mission, guided by Earthlings from NASA. Earthlings. Earthlings. Uh, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Oh, no, no, stay away, Russia, Putin. Keep your dirty robot claws <laughs> away from our hell planet. As, as quote, So they're as looking we for the aliens? What? Are they looking for aliens on the hell planet? I don't know. Doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> I don't know, man. Quote, this is... as we near the end of preparing the observatory for science, we are on the precipice of an incredibly exciting period of discovery discovery about our universe, said Eric Smith, a scientist who works on the Webb program at NASA. Quote, the release of Webb's first 
Full color images will offer a unique moment for us all to stop and marvel at a view humanity has never seen before. These wow. images will be the culmination of decades of dedication, talent, and dreams, but they will also just be the beginning. The first images from the telescope will be unveiled July 12th. Images from other projects, including those of the two exoplanets, will be released in its first year of operation. So this is interesting. So instead of just uh, photos of, you know, planets, alleged planets in our solar system, now we're getting to look at some real faraway stuff. Uh, the, the hell planet, apparently. Is that where hell yeah, is? I'm, I'm wondering, you know, because they've for so long been so insistent that, oh, you know, we don't take pictures of other planets. We don't even really, you know, we, we only infer that they're even there right. uh, through different, get pictures. you know. Apparently. And now we're going to have actual pictures. This will this will be very interesting. I'll talk about age of deceit. Talk about a great deception. Yeah. Huh. Is somebody, right. gonna, like, is somebody on a farm somewhere? Gonna, or maybe not a farm. Maybe like somewhere in, close to a volcano. They're like, hey, that landscape looks familiar. On the hell planet? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be like, yeah, it looks like Nevada. <laughs> it looks like the Nevada <laughs> desert or something. Right. Or you know, there's gotta be some magma. So you know, it's probably clearly like Iceland or something, you know. 